Hi, this is Keith from Total Steel Piston Rings. One of the common questions we get every day is which ring set's right for my engine? The best place to start is to give us a call. We're going to ask you some basic questions. What are you doing? Normally aspirated, circle track, drag race, streetcar, power adder, no power adder, and we'll narrow it down and get to where we need to be. But you ask, how do we get there to start with? Well, again, it's through those questions. We have to navigate all the different materials that rings are made out of. There's cast irons. There's ductile irons, there's hardened ductile irons, there's stainless steel, there's tool steel, there's even copper. All depends on the application. And that comes down to temperature and pressures. Different ring materials will handle different amounts of pressure. Once we've gotten you down that path and we think we've picked the right ring, what we need from you is the history of the engine. When we disassemble an engine that's been raced, we're always looking at all the parts. We're looking at bearing condition, bow spring pressures how the rings are wearing, how the cylinders are wearing. But well, one of the things that you can monitor and look at is what is known as free gap. And that's the gap of the piston ring before you put it in the engine. Let me use this sample right here. This is one of our new gas ported top rings, which work really great by the way. It's already been file fitted. And one of the things you want to record in your build book is how much gap does that ring have before I install the engine. So simply take your caliper, check that amount of gap, in the case of this ring, it's about 500 thousandths. We've got a 500 thousandths free gap. Notice free gap. This is the gap prior to going in the engine. It's typical to see about 100 thousandths, maybe 80 thousandths of reduction in that gap. Once the engine's been run, the ring's been heat cycled, it's going to lose a little bit of that tension. Heat puts the tension in, heat takes the tension out. But if for some reason we disassemble that engine, and we're seeing 100 thousandths free gap, where the tips have dropped down on the rings, they no longer line up evenly. We've overheated that ring. That ring material can't survive the environment that it's been exposed to. Now we have to ask the question, did we pick a tough enough material for the application, or do we have a tuning problem? If we have a tuning problem, well, that's going to show itself in other places. We're going to see dark wrist pin bores, upper rod bearings that are knocked out of the engine, spark plugs that have got aluminum all over them, knocking head gaskets out of it, lifting ring lands. We see those things, again, when we disassemble the engine, it's kind of forensic. You know, we're doing the old CSI thing. It's going to tell us a, you know, a story if we're listening to it. So if we see those things, and we know we've done this to the ring, but we know we've got a tuning issue. But if everything comes out looking great, bearings look great, pistons look great, everything's happy, and yet we're still doing this to the ring, we simply don't have the right material. We haven't chosen something that will survive the temperature of your environment. This is free gap. It's an important thing to record, put it into your build book, keep a record of it, because it'll tell us a lot about the engine, how it's being tuned, and do we have the right ring. And if you ever have a question about that, please contact Total Seal. We're glad to answer any questions you may have. What a day, what a day, what a day. But yeah, my brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. They told us, don't start cars. We are not going to listen.